Hey everyone and welcome to the video, my name is Neil and I'm here to unbox some more jerseys. Something I do pretty frequently on this channel, so if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you could down hit the subscribe button and join me here for uh, future unboxings as well as this one because there are multiple jerseys in here, there are multiple hats in here, and uh, if you are familiar with the channel, if you've been subscribed for a little bit, you know that I recently transitioned to not wearing the, the uh, jersey of the team that I'm unboxing, so you know 100% that, that there is no Anaheim Ducks jersey or hat in here, okay? That's the only hint I'm going to give. Now, I did buy this from Fanatics, so it did come from the, from the United States. I did have to pay a little bit of duty fees on it, but the deals that I got in here are cheaper than what you would pay for a regular fake jersey. Just put it at that. All right, let's open this up. Be curious to know your predictions, though of what you think these jerseys are. All right, here we go. Okay, so it looks like the jerseys are on top. I'm not sure, if I'll, leave the, I'll leave the jerseys to the end. We'll do the hats first. One is in a bag, one is in a bag, and two are free. All right, here's the first one. Now, this one is a bit of a risky purchase, but I've since bought something else to kind of replace it. It was super cheap. It was like $4.46 or something like that. Here it is. A Montreal Canadiens hat with blue as the primary color. Now, spoiler alert, there may or may not be a Canadiens reverse retro coming to me. I'm just waiting on it, on it to get hand stitched, and I thought, well, if I'm gonna get a Canadian's blue jersey, I should probably have a hat to match it. However, I made a mistake. <laughs> I noticed it after I bought the hat, and I didn't really care because, like I said, it was like four dollars and fifty cents, or four dollars and forty-six cents, or whatever it was. Yes, this hat would match that jersey um, perfectly, almost. And the Montreal Canadiens are my favorite team, and I just generally like this hat. Uh, but the mistake I made was that I got uh, medium, medium large, and I have a freakish little tiny boy head, and I can't wear anything over a small, so I already know, even without trying this on, that this is not going to fit my head. So I'm likely going to give this to someone that I know who got the reverse retro Canadian jersey, so they have something that matches um, and if I can't find anyone like that, then I'll reach out to you guys and see if any of any of you guys want this. So, anyways, I like that hat. <sighs> Depending whether I should show you my other hat that I got somewhere else. I'll wait. Then I got this hat, which I'm not sure if I'm going to give away or, or keep. Ottawa Senators. Fanatics hat. Now, I'm not a big fan of Fanatics, as you guys know, especially their jerseys. However, I do really like their hats. And this one was, much like the last one, extremely cheap. And in case you're wondering of what specific style of hat this is, there you go. This was, I think, $4.80 or something like that. So um, I don't have the jersey to match this, the, the 100 Classic. I actually gave that away. Um, however, I do have a Fanatics version of that jersey. And I have the Military Appreciation jersey, which I think uses this logo on the front. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to give this one away or not. I, I do like it quite a bit, and it feels ex actually extremely high quality. Uh, that literally feels like a shoulder patch on a jersey. It's very thick and feels good. That's what she said. Um, so I'll let you guys know, though, if I'm going to give that away. And then the third hat, which is in the bag, this is actually going to be a giveaway for you guys. It is... A Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup champion hat with the official patch on the back. Uh, not too special of a, of a hat, but uh, for a Pittsburgh fan, I think this will uh, look pretty nice in their collection. So I'm likely going to make this some kind of giveaway. I think I might do it on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, uh, please do. It's at post to post show. It's also linked down below in the description. And you may have seen a little bit of a graphic that popped up near the beginning of this video with uh, with that link as well. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, I mean, if I, was a, if I was a Penguins fan, I would love to have this in my collection. So 
once I saw it, I had to. I knew I had, knew I had to get it for someone. So put that aside. Now it's on to the jerseys. Now this is a team that I do not have an Adidas jersey for. You are fake news. So this is pretty special. However, I do have this identical jersey in Fanatics. So if you know my collection, then that narrows it down to two teams. Here goes a bag. All right, you ready? Here we go. The New Jersey Devils. Home. With Taylor Hall on the back. <laughs> These have been on sale on uh, Fanatics for quite a while, actually. Um, I think they were down to like 90, then they went down to 80, and then they went down to 65, and then they went really, really down, and I believe this one was 41 or 31 something like that. it was less than fifty dollars for this for this jersey and I don't really care that that uh, Hall isn't on the team anymore it doesn't really matter to me I once found an Edmonton Oilers Taylor Hall jersey when I first started the original post to post channel for six dollars and 43 cents I, I think it was uh, back in the day so I mean I'm getting an Adidas name jersey for less than fifty dollars that's probably less than what you would pay for a fake jersey so this is a total win in my books. I do not have this in Adidas. I do have it in Fanatics. So what I'll probably do is maybe put the Fanatics one um, in a shadow box or something, because that was a gift. I'm not going to give that away. That's from Sam, so I want to honor that. And I'll probably put it in a shadow box for the future uh, the future studio once I move and get a house. Uh, but this one will go... Uh, it'll just hang up with the rest of them. So pretty pumped about that because I don't have it in the background. I recently unboxed the New Jersey Devils away jersey. Um, so it's, I've gone from having no, just wait, hold on, just wait, you'll understand. So not only was there a jersey on there for less than $50, there was a jersey on there for roughly $30. It is Adidas, it is named. So I guess I lied at the beginning of this video because I said I didn't have an Adidas jersey of this team, but I forgot I had got the blank New Jersey Devils one. I did that the other day too in the Washington video. <sighs> I'm getting myself confused because I'm ordering ones prior to other ones, but the second order showing up for the first one. Anyways, here's the other jersey. <laughs> yes, it's the New Jersey Devils again. <laughs> Devils fans, if there, if you, if I've got some Devils fans watching. Uh, it's been a pretty maybe enjoyable week on the channel because I've unboxed three of your team's jerseys in Adidas. So I've gone from having no New Jersey Devils Adidas jerseys a week ago, and now I have three. <laughs> so uh, anyways, this I bought this jersey for $33, okay? This is an alternate, which is more rare than the, the when, more rare than the regular ones. It's also white, and uh, it's named with, uh, yeah, Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Hall on the back. Which, uh, I mean, it's, I don't know why I have so many Taylor Hall jerseys, but uh, maybe to keep the meme alive, I'll get a Buffalo Sabres Taylor Hall jersey. Um, but regardless, yeah, I'm, actually, you know what? I'm not really a fan of this jersey. I only really bought it because it was like $33. But now that I see it in person, that's, it's actually pretty nice. I actually, I actually like quite like this. This has a very like nostalgic feel to it it just it doesn't look the same as it does in photos uh it's much different in person in my opinion i really like this a lot this is size 46 the one i just showed you was a size 50. i'm, I'm actually impressed i it is pre-stitched i don't care if it's pre-stitched the other one's pre-stitched too i don't really care um but yeah interesting I'm kind of genuinely surprised. I wasn't really thinking that I would kind of be staring at it in awe here a little bit, but uh, I like the green. Uh, I know the reverse retro utilizes a little bit more green than this one, but I think I prefer this white version versus uh, the re reverse retro, but I'm going to be honest, that reverse retro is definitely growing on me, uh, the Devil's one, that is. And uh, if that's available somewhere in the future, I might have, if it goes on sale, I know it probably won't. I'm, this is, talking seven, eight months in, and down the road. But if, if it's still available and if it goes on sale, I'm probably gonna get it because it is growing on me. Um, so 
maybe I'll have the same feeling on that as I do this one if I actually see it in person. Maybe I'll leave, like it even more. So uh, we'll see in the future. But uh, yeah, kind of kind of strange that I've gone, gone from having zero uh, New Jersey Devils. Adidas jerseys to now having three, plus the Fanatics one, plus I also have a Reebok blank as well. Um, but yeah, I'll, you know what? I wasn't going to show it, but I'll show it. And so after I noticed that I purchased the incorrect sizing of this hat, I went to a store locally and that I knew would have the actual branded reverse retro new hats. And uh, yeah, I, I, I bought I bought the actual one that will literally match the jersey. So, unfortunately, I did pay full price for this, and uh, which is not something I like to do often. The back is not really the style that I like, the open back with the, the Velcro. I prefer a closed back hat, but uh, this will do, and it'll match the jersey perfectly. So, uh, I don't want to release too, many, too much information, but I do have multiple reverse retros coming, and I might have hats like this to match those. So keep an eye out for those videos. Um, like again, like I said at the beginning, again, if you're not subscribed, we'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button and join me for those videos in the future. So you've got you've got to see four hats that I've just got, uh, two jerseys. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least, yeah, at least, I think I have at least 10 jerseys on the way still as I'm recording this. And the re the only reason I was able to do this is that I had set aside a little bit of money to upgrade my computer's um, motherboard processor and uh, video card. And it didn't look like things were gonna come down in price as early as I thought they would or get released or have the stock available than I th that I thought they would. Cause I wanted to upgrade it cause I wanted to play some flight sim. I really wanted to make flight sim games, but my computer's just not uh, quite good enough to actually film and play at the same time. So that was my plan. Um, but then the reverse retros dropped and uh, yeah, so I kind of took that money and allocated it towards some, some Jersey purchases and some merchandise purchases. And uh, yeah, not, not an easy decision, but I'm in no rush to get the computer stuff since it's not really even available to, uh, right now. So. It'll give me a couple of months to kind of recoup that that uh, money and get it in the future. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Adios.